Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm here to present uh, my report on how to manage finances in a given organization. To begin with, I'll just start with the very first slide, wherein we have to identify two different uh, ways staff could misappropriate company funds and suggest a reasonable uh, suggest a resolution for each. So the very first fund is payroll fraud. Uh, very much uh, fraud is a, a misappropriate of very much uh, first way of misappropriating company fund is payroll fraud. This fraud is done by adding extra hours to work time sheet. These extra hours are not at all being worked for by particular employee. Below are a few suggested resolutions. Electric clocking system, educate monitoring of the system by ID departments, requisite approvals of electronic electronic sheets by authoritative uh, sources and last one is penalties for false declaration of time sheet second one in this category is payroll fraud Uh, sorry, resource fraud. This fraud is done by ordering surplus resources. Another way of this fraud is to exchange gift cards in exchange of surplus purchase. Below are few suggested resolutions. Stock check on regular basis, signing resource in and out sheets, limiting access, efficient manual and electronic record management of resources. Say, um, another, the second uh, 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 topic in, in this uh, presentation is uh, to give an example of contingency that could occur at a workplace and explain how we could revise the budget to deal with it. Contingency planning is about preparing for what is next and having policies in place to keep you and your employees safe. Below is an example of a contingency that could occur at workplace and how we would revise the budget to deal with it. Loss in income. Pandemic is a reason of less income being incurred. Below are the contingency in order to cope uh, us with the situation. Revise and add extra category within the budget to meet the loss. And second one is writing up another budget. Then comes uh, write a plan detailing how would you circulate newly written budget to managers and explain any additional information they need to know, such as reporting requirements and financial delegations. Here, uh, we can just create our own internal communication plan uh, where we can just uh, uh, list our key partners who would get informed of selected internal topic. Uh, list also the topic on which the partner should be informed. Basically, we have to uh, uh, list here are key stakeholders or partner. Then we have to uh, key uh, communication activities. So describe our key internal communication activities. Then we have to uh, mention communication team resources. Here we have to list the key resources of the communication team, uh, including external resources available. Then comes the value proposition and communication goals. Here, what values does internal communication deliver to the organization and the employees? Insert the main goals of the internal communication strategy here. And then employee relationship. Describe what each employee segment expects and internal communication. And then com comes communication channel. How uh, you plan to communicate with each employee segment and what different channels do you use? Last is uh, employee Last is employee segment. Describe uh, your different employee segments here and how uh, do their needs differ. And then uh, we can, in the last column, we can just write the communication cost structure and added value list what additional value for internal communication creates to the organization. Then comes uh, reporting requirements. Reporting requirements related to budget, budget should be done in a framework depending upon the importance of particular budget. Variances versus actual should be reported on daily, quarterly or monthly basis and requisite actions should be taken immediately. Then comes the financial delegations. Financial delegations in Australia related, related to budgetary requirements are basically managing compliances. The financial obligation should meet the requirement of legal financial body in Australia known as ASIC. 
then comes uh, the next area which is three areas of compliance at workplace basically compliance at workplace is the process of making sure the company and employees follow all laws regulation standards and ethical practices that apply to the organization and major areas of compliance to be monitored at workplace are budgets here being compliant is taking to the budgetary limits monitoring overspending and underspending then comes reporting requirements adhering the organizational procedure like time frames while preparing and submitting the important reports and lastly is spending rules here all the expenses being small or big should be supported with relevant and requisite receipts then regulations are being adhered to uh, with due diligence due diligence involves taking reasonable steps to secure compliance below is a checklist for the same audit trial reviewing and auditing financial statement meeting statutory statutory requirements meeting organizational requirements be ready with contingency plans and always arrange a risk assessment and a plan to monitor and mitigate the risk next one is an audit trial to identify a discrepancy in budget allocation audit trial of a scenario audit trial for a stock difference this quarter affecting budgetary income uh, here uh, we will uh, identify a discrepancy and will do an audit trial with uh, below steps will allocate an internal staff for a stock audit at warehouse will scrutinize all the relevant documents like sales and purchase register will check the past stock statements uh, found a discrepancy of a mistake in handling of stocks a clerical error of wrong counting of stocks wrongly counting wrongly counted a lot toys which led to excess of stocks manually in comparison to actual as per records finally running a successful trial and finding discrepancy and fixing the problem then comes the uh, the reference list and that's all thank you any questions